Hello, everyone. Before we begin our program, I would like to ask that you please turn your cell phones off or place them in the vibrate mode to maintain the integrity of this program. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand for the entrance of our graduates? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our summer term 2021 pinning and candlelighting ceremony for the associate degree nursing and practical nursing programs at Wallace Community College. Would you please remain standing for the invocation given by Miss Sally Gavigan. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here before you to honor our nursing graduates. We know how hard they have worked to get here, but no one knows better than you. And so we ask for your blessing, both at our celebration here today and the graduates themselves as we go forth to serve you as nurses. 
Give these nurses courage to be defenders of life and our future patients as we advocate in the process of healing. Make us warriors on behalf of the vulnerable, the weak, the defenseless, particularly the children and the elderly. Make us bridges in our encounters with patients, families and patients, and coworkers. Bridges to you and the salvation you offer to the whole world. Make us vehicles of your infinite love, Father, and cause us to be transparent in compassion and selfless in charity. We honor and adore you, Heavenly Father. Please bless everyone in attendance here today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Ms. Gavin. You may be seated. We would like to thank each of you for your support of our graduates. And there are some special groups here this afternoon that we would like to recognize. As I introduce you, would you please stand? If you are a military veteran or a law enforcement officer, would you please stand? Thank you for your service. If you are a family member of one of our special graduates tonight, would you please stand? Thank you for your support. As you can see, it takes a lot of people to help raise a nurse. It is now my honor to introduce our president, Dr. Linda C. Young. Certainly my pleasure to welcome you to this, what we call a celebration of student success, the nurses' pinning ceremony. You know, if we think about words that would describe how we feel about nurses, probably the first word that would come to mind would be gratitude. Gratitude for what they do each and every day. And I want to ask if you're in the audience and our graduates and you're a health care professional, please stand and let us show our gratitude. So today's pinning ceremony is really even more special a special time to honor and recognize our graduates as they prepare to enter their careers. And graduates, I know that you know that nursing presents many challenges. But we know that you're up to the challenges because of the excellent faculty and staff who have moved with you through this journey. And I'd like to ask if you are a nursing or health care instructor at Wallace, if you would please stand. Thank you. You know, your success is their success. And your success is the reason that they stay in the field of nursing education. We all know it takes a strong, compassionate, and intelligent person to become a nurse and help to maintain the health and well-being of people. And we're so fortunate to have men and women who are willing to work 12-hour shifts and more to care for their patients. To those nurses, they're not just a patient, they're a person. They're someone's family member or someone who becomes one to that nurse. 18th century cleric John Wesley said, quote, when you are practicing the art of medicine and healing, do all the good you can by all the means you can in all the ways you can in all the places you can, at all the times you can, and to all the people you can, 
as long as ever you can, end quote. If you do all those things, you will have a very, very successful career. And graduates, we are grateful that you have answered a very special calling to become a nurse. And we are so very proud of you. This is a significant milestone in your journey of accomplishments. So I want to say on behalf of the faculty and staff, congratulations. Job well done. It's now my pleasure to recognize our Associate Dean of Health Sciences, Dean Kathy Bunton. Thank you. Before we begin our ceremony, I would like to ask um, for your cooperation with some things. We want you to get your photos. We want you to see your special person. So if you want to take those photos, feel free to come forward to do that. Um, if you need to exit the facility during the ceremony, would you do so using the back entrances? That way it won't interfere with any of our um, graduates and what they're going to do. And lastly, as we recognize the graduates, we will call each up to the stage individually, and I ask that you hold your applause until their entire class has been recognized. We don't want anyone to miss that special time for their special person. And now graduates, for the practical nursing program, would you rise and move into position for your penny? And I'm gonna ask Dr. Gwen Galloway to come forward. Dr. Galloway's division director for the practical nursing program, and along with Ms. Kara Henson and Ms. Gail Salter. Tisha Akins. Devisha Brown. Jalithia Cannon. Brittany Butler. Mm -hmm. 
Shenadia Dawkins. Jasmine Dean. India Fitzpatrick. Mariella Flores. Journey Grandpa. Michelle Grubbs. Raven Hutchinson. Alicia Jarrett. Jenrika Kinsey. Carolyn Kirkland. Jacqueline Parkland. Kelsey Lewis. Kelsey McCray. Lenacy Murph. Desiree Owens. Marisha Palmer.
Courtney Penn. Shakita Pledger. Mariki Rum. Sierra Sampson. Samantha Sykes. Renisha Smith. Madison Spurlock. Mackenzie Tanner. Della Thomas. Rosalind Torres. Alexis Upshaw. Rebecca Washington. Zoe Watson. Monifa Williams. Marilyn Yoverton. Virginia Youngblood. Nicole Miller Banks, friends and family, please join me in congratulating the summer twenty twenty one. Graduates, 
I'd like to leave you with these final words. Gandhi said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. So as you serve others, be the nurse you want as a patient. Because where there is love, there is life. Let's congratulate this group of graduates one more time. And at this time, we'll ask our associate degree nursing graduates to rise and move forward for your pinning and ask instructors Dr. Kirsty Hardrick and Ms. Jan Wynn to come forward, along with division director Dr. Jackie Spivey. Graduates, would you please come forward as your name is called? Zuleika Erendita Aldrich. Sarah Midkiff Anderson. Amber Sue Basil. Tristan Ashley Beck. Casey Yamans Campbell. Anna Lee Sapau. Vera Abakara Essen. <laughs> Jessica Sharon Felch. Sally Ann Gavigan. Mm -hmm. 
Shawana Contreo Glenn. Ebony Green. Anna Lewis Hicks. Kelsey Elizabeth Hovey. Kiana Johnson. Brittany Megan Mills. Kylie Lynn Miner. Xaviera Destiny Peoples. Clayton Poe. Kevin James Powell. <coughs> Kelly Elizabeth Scar. Hornsby Tab. Sarah Rose Tucker. Whitehead. Courtney Deanna Wright.
Everyone, let's congratulate this group of graduates with a round of applause. This group of graduates, like the practical nursing graduates, will have a special test that they'll have to visit on a little later in the time frame. But uh, we hope, them, hope that they will have the best outcomes with that and find great jobs to care for your patients as you have been trained to do. Because all of you are going to be very successful at what you can do because you've had good training and you have done the best that you could do. So do not give up, do not drop what you're doing in your studies, keep going, finish that test, get those licenses, because they can't take those away from you once you get them, unless you give them to them, okay? So please, 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 get out there and do the best you can on that. Graduates, and I know the practical nursing, and I know Dr. Galloway <laughs> wouldn't mind me doing this, would you graduates like to congratulate your families that have supported you throughout this entire time? If you would, just stand up for them and congratulate you through all of this. Like Dean Reeder said, it takes a community to, to, to grow a nurse. It really, truly does. And all the support you all have given these graduates is, is more than they will ever be able to thank you for. Congratulations, and go be a nurse, right? We could see something on the stage that most of you probably couldn't. These graduates had faces that transformed as they left the stage. I'm seeing smiles now. They have finally realized it's over. No more school. Getting up in the morning. Now you go to work. But, but we are so proud of you, and I want to commend Dr. G uh, Spivey for challenging you towards that NCLEX exam. Everyone sitting here has an exam to take. Family members, friends, support them, urge them on. And then we want you to come back to Wallace Community College. Let us help you. If you desire to go that next step, we will gladly work with you, help you in that transition to make nursing your career for your lifetime. And now for our final part, we're going to have our candle lighting ceremony. I need to ask Dr. Sandra Bryant, Ms. Wanda Chestnut, Ms. Kara Henson, Ms. Gail Salter, Ms. Claudia Tucker, and Ms. Patricia Williford to come forward. And as they come forward, we'll ask all of the graduates to rise for your candle lighting. Ms. Charlotte Fuller will come forward to lead the candidates in the Nurses Pledge. The candle lighting ceremony is a symbolic representation of the passing on of the nursing traditions of caring and compassion from the teacher to the student. The name candle lighting is used because of the historical association with Florence Nightingale, the founder of modern nursing and nursing education. She gave care and comfort to the sick as she made her rounds. She brought light to the dark areas in healthcare with her research and her teaching. And her lamp became a symbol of dedication and compassion. The candles our graduates have are held in the lamp of knowledge. 
The lighting of each of the graduates' candles represents the transition from student to member of the nursing profession as accumulation of the many months of nursing education. The Nightingale Pledge is the oath recited by graduating nurses worldwide as they prepare to enter the nursing profession. It was originally penned and fashioned on the Hippocratic Oath and in honor of the pioneer of nursing, Florence Nightingale. The pledge reflected nursing practice and the role of the professional nurse in 1893. And it's remarkable that as we pin our summer 2021 nursing graduates, some 128 years later, that the Nightingale Pledge still encompasses all that is nursing, such as a duty to care, the ethical and moral principles of non-malfeasance, confidentiality, and client advocacy. It is with great pride that I ask the summer 2021 nursing graduates to recite the Nightingale Pledge as they take the steps from student nurse to that of professional nursing. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly Practice my profession faithfully. I will not take or knowingly administer any harm the standard of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters and family affairs. coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. I will endeavor to, in, endeavor to aid physicians in their work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand? Please join us in the benediction given by Mr. Navia Dawkins.
the God of all grace, who has called you into his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. As our ceremony comes to a close, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to be here today. Father, I ask that you bless this class and all their future endeavors. Thank you for our friends and families who are here to support us, and thank you for our instructors who have helped to mold us into the men and women we have become. Father, we thank you for the gifts and the talents you have given each of us, and for all your grace, mercy, peace, and wisdom that has carried us throughout this long journey. We thank you for the privilege you've bestowed upon us as nurses to be your hands and feet and to care for the sick and those in need. We ask you, Lord, to continue to guide us as we start this new chapter in our lives. Let us not forget the things we have learned here, and let us treasure those memories and friendships we have made over this time. When there is fear, bring us hope. When there is doubt, bring us faith. When there is hatred, bring us love. As we go forth individually to help make our world a better place, as we walk out our purpose. I ask, Father God, surround those who are graduating today with your grace, bless them with hope, so that they move into the future with eager and open hearts. Inspire them to believe in the goodness of life, even when faced with challenges and difficulties. We praise you, Lord, for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much, Ms. Dawkins. Would you please remain standing for the exiting of our graduates and let's congratulate them one more time. Woo!